When I was young, I would sit with a tennis ball and just dream about how I wanted the world to look in our small world of tennis. You guys are living our dream now, but I would hope that you would think, how can I make the world a better place? Tennis sensation Sophia Kennan reads a thank you note to Billie Jean King, the legendary tennis champion who has inspired her to face anything. Hi, it's great Hi. to see you. Great seeing you, Billy. Yeah. Oh boy. Dear Billy Jean, I am writing to you today on behalf of female tennis players everywhere. Your achievements, your activism, and your optimism have opened doors for all of us. So I know I speak for all my peers when I say thank you. I immigrated from Russia when I was just a baby. Neither of my parents spoke much English when we got here, but they knew what the American dream was, and that's what they wanted for me. And what did I want as a kid? To be the best tennis player in the world. <laughs> I was so surprised as a kid when I learned that men and women players weren't always treated equally until Billie Jean King came along. It was obvious you were a once-in-a-lifetime player, even early on in your career. And the Wimbledon title is hers. But as you rose in ranks, you weren't given the same opportunities as men. In 1970, you and eight other female players signed $1 contracts to create the first women's tennis tour. I honestly don't want to imagine where we'd be today if you had not taken the leap of faith. Hearing this story, I realized how much courage that must have taken. Suddenly, this little girl from Russia had a very American hero. Sophia Kennan, the 20-year-old American looking to win the first singles title of the... In the years since I went pro, I've thought a lot about my favorite quote of yours. Champions keep playing until they get it right. All I wanted this year was to break into the top 20 to be a real champion. So I kept perfecting my game and I worked my way to become the 12th ranked female player on the WTA Tour. Sometimes the pressure to break into the top 10 feels overwhelming, but as a wise woman once said, pressure is a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> for all of this, my fellow players and I have so much to thank you for. Thank you for showing all women just how valuable we are and that our equality is worth fighting for. With deepest respect, Sophia Kennan. Thank you. Thank Give you. Thank you. That's really beautiful. That's like I see my whole life flashing in front of me from this. Did you have any doubts when you started fighting for what you believed in for equality and equal pay? Always, always had doubts. It was very difficult sometimes, but I am really optimistic as a human being. And I kept visualizing what I thought the goal should be for all of us. So the nine of us called the original nine signed a $1 contract, and we got letters of suspension. We thought we'd never get to play Wimbledon again or anything, we didn't care, because we had to, you know, cross that line in the sand. And the three things that we thought of is that any girl born in the world, if she's good enough, would have a place to compete. Number two, to be appreciated for our accomplishments, not our looks. And then the third one was to be able to make a living. Have you thought about, like, beyond tennis, how you want this to help others? I would obviously love to inspire girls, women, and oh, I think you're next that. generation to come up and... No, you're already doing that by your tennis, just performing and watching you. If people have not seen you, they need to watch your intensity, I call it, and your fearlessness. I don't want to, like, take things for granted, but I'm excited for what the future will hold for me. Yeah, I hope you're number one in the world. Say what you want and need. She one. wants to be number one. <laughs>